Yeah, I think for the high-risk myeloma session, uh, what is most uh, interesting is actually all the discussion about um, what is the best way to actually identify these patients. And from the abstract uh, that were presented as oral uh, presentation during the session, uh, we actually saw the identification of uh, some new signatures that actually identify uh, patients with high-risk disease uh, that is related to um, the effect of the uh, stromal cell population. Uh, and this is also interesting because it then allow us to um, have better understanding why these patients are high risk and what treatment potentially uh, can be given to actually uh, overcome uh, that. The other important finding is that um, high risk uh, clones may already be present in patients but are undetectable by current methods. Right? And, and those abstract clearly show that these patients with high risk clones, small high risk clones, eventually uh, these clones enlarge and the patient actually have poor outcome uh, with subsequent uh, treatment. So this also tells us that we need to refine our method of identifying these patients and identifying the subclones. And, and the last thing was that um, if and when we are able to identify these high risk patients, we now potentially have good treatment uh, that could help these patients. So that was the trial that the French group uh, presented, which shows a high rate of response as well as uh, minimal residual disease uh, negativity uh, with a quadruplet uh, induction combination. Uh, and I think that uh, is showing some promise uh, because it actually reproduces the data from the German group as well. So this kind of uh, treatment effect is actually reproducible in high-risk patients. Uh, so I think those are some of the most exciting uh, uh, abstract uh, in the high recession that was presented.